happening boys? It's Bullen here. Now, a little bit of a different style of video, but ask yourself the question. Do you have a YouTube channel? Why don't you have a YouTube channel? What's the reason? Boys, I've got a lot of people asking me, oh, I wanna make a YouTube channel, but I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Listen, lads, right? I'm a small YouTuber, okay? I've only just started doing this stuff. I'm on 1.1 thousand subscribers, okay? For me, I'm really proud of that, okay? But I'm going to explain, or best explain, in the most rawest way, okay? There's no editing in this, why I think it, you should start a YouTube channel. Now, I'm a normal average Joe, okay? And this, like I said, this is something I started recently because I had a passion for it. I've always had a passion for making YouTube videos. I started when I was very, very young, all different times of content. And that's the point, okay, guys? Everyone almost is scared to hit record because they feel as though, oh, this video is not gonna be, it's not gonna be that good. Listen, mate, it ain't. Unless you're some guy who's got loads of money, you know an editor, whatever. Your first 100 videos, 200 videos, are not gonna be Mr. Beast, KSI level content, okay? It isn't gonna be like that. It's never gonna be like that. But it's gonna give you First thing, the first and the first video shoot is a massive start, okay? It's just a massive start. It's gonna put you straight out there, right? It's gonna make you different from all the other people who just sit there and watch. You're producing content, right? You wanna be someone who produces content, not necessarily watching lots of content, okay? Especially in this generation when you've got the TikTok, TikTok brains out there, you wanna be you wanna be making content, not consuming it 24 seven. Right, so I've wrote down a list of different things which I believe is, you know, the pros of making a YouTube channel. So, number one thing which uh, kind of figured out and discussed is that it connects you with like-minded uh, people. So, I produce Call of Duty content. So, because I produce Call of Duty content, my uh, home recommendations put me with people who do the same kind of content as myself. So, there can be some the big timers there, middle-sized channels, and smaller channels. So, it gives you... Um, it gives you a niche which you can put yourself in there and allow you to connect with them. Now, what it also does, um, it gives you the other side, it gives you two perspectives. So you have the people who kind of support with what you say, but also gives you other people have a counterpoint to what you say. So it's quite a good way of connecting and seeing in your niche what you need to know. And YouTube's really, really good at that. What you remember, YouTube is a search algorithm, okay? That's what's so amazing with YouTube. There's no well, there's trends in it, but your videos will always get views to a certain extent, okay? Because it's a search algorithm thing. So that's that's one of the things I've seen, right? All right, boys, so point number two on my list is broadening your knowledge in your sector. Now, kind of linking this to, like like I said, connect you with like-minded individuals. Uh, because YouTube allows you and shows you content in your area, you are understanding more of what's trending in your area, what's doing well, what's not doing so well, because you see through views, engagement, through the comment section, the likes, etc., etc. So pick your niche. It doesn't matter. You don't have to stick to it if you don't enjoy it, right? You can make another YouTube channel, whatever, right? Pick something which you're going to see yourself as best as you can going long term with. Build up your audience in that specific sector, okay, guys? Don't sit there and post 10 Call of Duty videos, then three FIFA, then like five World of Warcraft. Don't do that, okay? Build up your audience. First. Bring, let them follow you. Let them learn you, okay? So find your thing. So if you like Call of Duty, make Call of Duty type videos. So stick with that, post content around that, let people learn about you, okay, through your videos, your personality, and then, then you can like, because you're gonna have a core of essentially fans who like you and engage with you and fuck with you, then they're gonna follow you in whatever journey you go on to next, okay? So for me personally, I like Call of Duty, that's always my preferred game, but it will not be the content I always post. I would like to post other games and other stuff. I like vlogs and travel vlogs as well but I want to build myself up through my sector, which is Call of Duty, and then in time, I can then do other stuff, and it isn't just like a complete flop of a video. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, right, so point number three, boys, is personal growth. Now, what I mean by this is, as a person, 
if you do this consistently, you're gonna change, right? Your content's gonna change. And what's so sick about YouTube is you see the change in a timeline. So you can look back a year ago and see how that your videos looked, how your thumbnails looked, how you spoke. You'd like to think you're gonna improve. And that's so, so sick that you have this. And if you don't like your videos back in the day, you can private them and you can just keep it as almost like a museum for yourself and looking back at the history and hopefully the progress you will eventually encounter. So that's another fucking banging point there, boys. I'm telling you, it's a banger. Point number four, it can be a source of income. Now for me, I personally have a full-time job. Um, I, would, I, I would like this to potentially bring a source of income into me. Funny enough, just today, I had my first ever donation on a Twitch stream, uh, uh, on a Twitch live. Uh, be sure to follow me on that, boys. Um, I stream Monday to Thursday in most days, so before I show that, shout out to Libra, he gave me six found donations, so we're getting somewhere, boys. Anyway, the point being is it can be a source of income once you achieve ad revenue, whether it's through lives, whether it's through TikTok shot, whatever it is, right, this stuff can be an income for you, boys, right? We're in a day and age now where I'm starting to believe that if you've got the average job, one source of income is not gonna be enough for you guys, okay? So make it your hobby first. So find something you like, make sure it's your hobby, then it doesn't feel like a job, okay? It's something you look forward to do and it can potentially be a source of income in the future, okay? Point number five, it gives you an opportunity to pro promote yourself or potentially a business you want to promote. So. Let's go, for example, um, Gymshark. Gymshark was a clone brand, what I'm repping right now. Shout out to Gymshark if you want to sponsor me up, you know, right? They started off just giving out their items to people who went to the gym and essentially had a following and they said, look, just take a picture of our clothes. We'll give you the clothes for free. Helps, you know, we give you nice quality clothes for free in return that you promote us, right? The point being is you can make a business. So if you have a business in roofing, my friend's got a roofing business, he can make a whole YouTube channel about how he does different types of roofing. And essentially, he might not get hundreds of thousands of followers, but even if he gets 100 followers, 200 followers, 300, they're all gonna be very interested in that specific niche, which then, he, there's, that's why there's YouTube channels out there with only a couple thousand subscribers who are earning potentially more money than people who've earned in hundreds of thousands of subscribers because they're in a specific niche, the audience loves what they do, they support what they do, and they've got that real target niche. And that's a big part, kind of back to point one, you need to make sure if you're gonna do YouTube, you know what it is you want to do and you love what it is what you do, okay? Because then that means you're gonna do it for the longest, you're gonna have the most amount of passion, heart into it. So, yeah, personal growth. Like I said, you can see yourself grow, but also you can see your business grow through YouTube. It's incredible, boys. Point number six, editing skills and communi communication skills. Um, at the end of the day, if you, when you start this, you're not gonna have enough money to sit there and essentially pay for an editor, right? Most people ain't gonna be able to do that. So having yourself the skills to learn, splits, cuts, overlays, this, that, the other, syncing stuff up, mic, right? just everything, right? You're gonna learn skills which are gonna be really useful for you in the future. Um, whether you might go into a job which relies on that or just look like, a jo most jobs now, boys, are technology-based. So you, you know working your way around the computer is only gonna fucking help you out in the future, boys, all right? It's only gonna help you out. Regarding communication skills, this is something I'm still trying to work out myself. I'm naturally quite a chatty person, but, I struggle with my words sometimes, but it's something you can improve upon. And I can look back on this video in a year or two and laugh at myself and be like, fucking hell, mate, look how much more better I am now. But that's, that, that links into the personal growth as well. And all these things, right, link together. Okay, boys, this is the point, okay? This is the whole point of what I'm trying to tell you what it is. Don't be shy to start. Just start. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna be 40 years old and you'll be like, fuck, I wish I made that YouTube channel. I already regret it. I'm 24 years old and I wish I started four years ago, five years ago. Cause I tried, but I was never consistent. I gave up after one video. What I'm expecting to what? Bang after one video. No, it just doesn't happen, okay? I think we're on point six or point seven. I don't even know anymore, right boys? Personality, right boys? I know and understand some people really struggle with 
showing themselves, especially on camera, it can be quite nerve wracking. This is something I don't necessarily struggle with myself. Um, I, I, I do believe I have quite a good personality. Don't shoot me for saying that. But um, it's getting yourself well on camera, okay? You need to put yourself out there, right? Get out of your comfort zone, okay? And just bring a bit of life to your content, a bit of enthusiasm, a bit of passion, okay? Don't just sit there like, oh, hey guys, it's, it's Michael here, and today we're gonna be playing Call of Duty. No, you go, something boys, it's pulling it, and today we're gonna be destroying everyone in my lobby. See how it is different, you're more engaged with listening to that second version of myself. All it needs to be is a more enhanced version of yourself, okay? Don't try and be someone else, don't mistake for what I'm saying, be yourself, just push yourself out a little bit more, all right? Just, you know, that little edge, that little X factor, okay, people? And boys, the last point, don't know the number, enjoy it. Enjoy what you do. Okay, you're only ever gonna see and feel satisfied if you enjoy what you do. Okay, so enjoy the process, enjoy your first 100 subs, enjoy your first 500, enjoy a thousand, right? But not only that, enjoy the process of seeing your shit get better. Okay, so it's been your boy Bullen. I know it's a bit of a different video, but I just wanted to make this video out there because I've had a few people in my streams telling me I want to make a YouTube channel. I've only got 10 subscribers. Um, like you, you don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. Just trust me, boys. Be consistent. Love what you do. And yeah, you're going to be bigger than me. And I fucking hope you are, boys. All right. Be sure to take care of yourself, boys. And we'll see you later. Goodbye.